We should be going live. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and uh, welcome to another live stream. Today is April 1st, 2020. And we're doing a live stream on analyzing the data for COVID-19 coronavirus, the novel coronavirus virus. And we've done, uh, I think this is the fourth one we're doing. We've been tracking this data for um, basically end of January, I guess, for a couple of months now. We've been looking at the data. Hello, Spider-Man, how are you doing? And um, we're creating a table. Uh, and this is uh, the table that you see right now on the screen is just for the month of March. Because we have 72 data points, it was going to be too large to include the whole table. Uh, but I have all the data posted on our Patreon page. And I'm going to give the link to everyone so everyone on chat, when they come in, they can, uh, I believe that should be the one. <laughs> take everyone there hello catholic traditionalist how are you doing case man evening evening our uh, newest mod right and uh, just to let you guys know i'm just going to go through my little intro speedy gonzalez again uh, if you want to know who i am what i'm doing here and what we are doing here because this is sort of a in essence a collaboration with everybody in our community made with excel made with excel right and uh you can check out our patreon page okay i will provide a link in the description of this video this video being loaded on bitchute on youtube right now that'll take you to the post i made with the full table that we have created so far including 19 graphs that we're going to take a look at for this live stream Okay, so there's 19 graphs, each one of these columns, and a couple of the columns we're sort of putting together. But there's basically 19 graphs we're going to take a look at for this live stream. And they're basically, I believe it started off with 11 graphs about a month and a half ago that we looked at. And we've slowly been building the data because at some point we're going to create a mass series, uh, take all of this data and uh, see what we can do with it and uh, sort of hindsight uh, what we could have known and take a look at some of the metrics that we're uh, graphing right now to see if we have a good idea of what's going on with COVID-19 novel coronavirus okay and we are live streaming this on Twitch so if you are on another platform that if you want to catch these live streams uh, as they are happening okay Twitch is where you want to be at okay and I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live uh, on Twitter, Gab, Minds, VK, and LO. And again, all the links will be in the description of this video. And this video after the live stream is going to be loaded on BitChute and YouTube. Okay. Uh, and since we are in the middle of a pandem pandemic, okay, uh, a lot of healthcare systems around the globe are being overwhelmed. So what you want to keep in mind is you want to flatten the curve okay which means basically keep a physical distance from others for the next few weeks right because this virus does have an incubation period does that you know people are asymptomatic they don't show signs but they could still transmit and the r naught value for this is fairly high relative to the regular flu and whatnot as well as the fatality rate being higher than the regular flu anytime anywhere between 10 times or higher right so we want to slow down this pandemic that way we can flatten the curve basically meaning that you don't want to overwhelm your healthcare systems because if people do need critical care with this virus uh, they do need to be put on ventilators and there's only a certain number of ventilators that are distributed all over the world right some places are running really low so if they get a whole wave of people coming in that require ventilators they might have to make the decision the unfortunate decision to decide who is going to live and who is going to die and we don't want to put people in that kind of position and you really don't want to be in that position yourself either as a healthcare provider or as someone who is ill okay so physical distancing is not a bad idea i don't like the word social distancing because what we are doing right now is social okay 
Now we're going to start taking a look at the graphs. I'm just going to say hi to chat, catch up with chat and uh, just say our salutations. OK, and again, the link will be in the description of this video and I've posted it on chat. I'll post it again where uh, you can take a look at the larger version of this table as well as uh, the graphs that we're going to take a look at for this live stream and they are on our patreon page okay aside from that hello gang how are you doing hope you guys are doing well here's a post to the uh to the patreon where you can find the data apologies about taking the doing our long intro i think it's important to do that intro uh hey chicho and mods and followers hello martin how are you doing saucy rossi welcome welcome hey chicho from the number crunching i've done america would hit 1 million known infected people by april 7th um, and 10 million known infected by april 20th uh, we'll take a look at the uh, uh, graphs um, the data looks uh, oh yeah i'm gonna pop out the chat i should have done this earlier uh, actually i'm not gonna pop out the chat yet because i'm gonna lose all the chat so i'm gonna go through the speedy gonzalez style um that's a bold prediction so i'll say pa, 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 pa. where do you get those numbers just where the numbers are trending i hope it's uh it's wrong too it's um uh, if stay at home orders work it should flatten out uh by end of april what up chicho hey will show how are you doing welcome welcome to another live stream this article has been dead on Oop. Um, yeah, Saucy Rossi, you gotta post those links on uh, on our Discord page. Those numbers worry me. April is going to get dark, no matter what, no matter what. Yes. Da, 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 da. What's your opinion on people uh, dying? Uh, not good. <laughs> what do you mean? One to two percent of total uh, total people infected it was number of people dying. Saucy, what do you mean? Yeah, what uh, uh, here? well let me pop out the chat because i caught up with the chat that way we're not losing any of the chat so the fatality rate is higher now by the way the last time we looked at this uh the fatality rate uh, the first time we looked at it was around two and a half percent and we followed the data and it was kicking up to you know three percent it was three and a half percent uh now the fatality rate uh global is hitting five percent right and the main focus of this live stream is we've i've calculated uh because some people asked on the previous live stream if we could lag the data i forget who it was uh, i should know but i forget um uh, she she's on twitch as well uh but they they requested uh for us to do a lag of five day fatality rate lag as well as a two week and we're going to take a look at those graphs okay uh, hello chicho always be making how are you doing by the way i don't mean to hijack the discord i just feel like i have a lot to say um ch chat away always be making i might uh i might skip the stuff if it's uh if it's uh, not related to what we're talking about rust evening how are you doing how do you feel about millions eventually people not living due to that i mean here's the kicker uh anti-cage you you might be like just playing devil's advocate or whatnot right uh but check this out i looked at some data right well I'll, I'll play the devil's advocate right i looked at some data and what you see on a weekly basis u.s death rates have fallen relative to previous years right why are u.s death rates falling or relative to whatever metric they were measuring oh us death rates are falling because there's less people dying of car accidents right so because everyone's staying at home there's less accidents maybe right there's a little discussion on our discord right so maybe the cause is people aren't driving to work and whatnot so there's less fate car accidents there's less fatalities right so you can you can take data and look at it whichever way you want right the question is we're here to find out to the best of our abilities what is going on right how we decide to incorporate that knowledge into our lives is up to us individually right as simple as that we have the discord for case man yeah we do have discord for uh talking about a lot of things right um 
as case man says always be making uh, if 10 million people are infected then one to two percent is uh, is a good guess though uh, if what chicho just quoted is true it could be way more uh, saucy rossi if you look at the tables if you go to a discord i believe it's the last uh, uh, we have 19 graphs it's the last four graphs that give you an estimate if we do a little lag relative to the fatality rate and the fatality rate straight up is at five percent now basically okay without doing any lag it will be it will probably get to 20 percent if hospitals are completely overrun that is possible five percent infected global rate right now is including global population is um russ you can't include global population you can't just say out of seven billion people that doesn't make sense <laughs> right uh, that uh, doing that is just doesn't make sense at all really anything new on vaccine uh cure sites uh strawberry jesus uh, nice name strawberry jesus 11 they, you know they are working stuff there's some stuff that's showing promise there there is some stuff that's kicking into uh, a trial already right and france uh, the united states certain governments are are saying that oh certain things uh people you know we're going to try taking them and stuff like this we're not going to know exactly you know what is the cure for this or what's going to help people to uh, stay alive really right that isn't how it's calculated it's calculated by known infections yeah right i think the person is just trolling all the data chicho has and anyone uh anyone is looking at has a general disclaimer of selection bias there are problems with testing availability asymptomatic infections numbers being uh, purposefully under or over reported 100 percent right and that's the kicker right and it uh, aside from testing availability testing accuracy some of the tests are 60 to 70 percent accurate so you know 30 to 40 percent of people who are infected are passing by and a certain number that are infected are probably being tested positive so the testing is very problematic right now i know that's how they calculate it but they say most of us are going to get it uh, over what period of time the kicker is if everybody gets it in one shot then the fatality rate is what 30 percent right if you distribute the case load for the healthcare providers in the world and the system itself over a 10-year period then the fatality rate is a lot lower right it's just mathematics really all zero one will get it at some point uh, uh da, 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 martin thank you very much for taking care of business the standard model is 40 to 60 percent infected rate uh before bah, 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 before her immunity starts to slow infection down that's my point if we all had it right now the death rate would be uh no rust if we all had it right now the fatality rate would be a lot higher okay there are people who are being saved right now that the only reason they're being saved is because they're getting medical care if everybody had it right now what percent of the population would get medical care not very many okay so a lot more people would die just simple it's not even math anymore simple logic right uh, not sure what to say to that no nah. <laughs> we can't really say more than that saucy rossi uh, at least for an infection with the spread rate this one does is naturally around two to three new infections per carry yeah and i hope that was uh, you're okay with uh, me being fairly sharp about, about that rust uh you know silliness goes only so far if you think those are the numbers straight out you need to amp up your math abilities right ideal scenario is we distribute the caseload like chicho says across as long a period of time as possible both to ease the strain in our healthcare systems but also to give time for treatments to be developed yeah yes case man and chicho very exact that's it right simple as that so gang let me give you the link to where this table the bigger version of this table this is just one month 
Okay. Uh, so this is just the month of March. And I cut it up and I loaded it on here so we could take a look at it. Uh, just because the bigger table is way too big we can't uh, we can't even read the numbers on there right but if you go to a patreon page you'll see the big table and you can follow the data and uh, at some point we'll have this up as well somewhere in open spreadsheet where you can mess around with data and create your own formulas and at the bottom of the main table I've included the formulas for the cells unfortunately I forgot to include the column numbers but you'll yeah you'll get an idea of what the formulas are that i'm using it's very simple right just percentages and whatnot okay i got bingo knights of old comics how are you doing <laughs> you're playing the chart the table okay so gang we're about 15 minutes in um and i should have mentioned at the beginning of the video that if there are people who are watching it on bitshoot and youtube i'll have the link to when we start taking a look at data in the description of video usually in all of these streams okay i don't think we can go with the numbers they provide at all so this is all just speculation right now. it's just yeah and take a look at this on the main table right now if you you go to here let me go look at the big table so i give you the exact table coordinates if you go to uh for example that here if you go to column m okay the death inside china right the number of reported death inside china if you scroll down okay and if you go to what's the date if you go to march 17th i locked the number of deaths that are being reported out of china because it's not really first of all they're not increasing according to chinese numbers not very much right so it's not worthwhile relative based on our error to even keep track of it anymore and the other reason i locked it up is because don't really trust those numbers anyway right so if you look at the big table at the bottom of the table i've made some notes based on the shading so i've shaded a couple places here where i'm highlighting certain features right for example if you go to column uh, q you'll see if you scroll down to let's make sure we're on the right uh what month is that oops not month it's uh march but let's say march around march 22nd okay i shade it in another cell and that that basically i made a note in the bottom of the table where it says i switched collecting data from one source to another source because the original source was no longer reporting this metric right so this table is the best i could do with the resources available to be able to make sure the data was as accurate as possible and whenever wherever i saw the data that i wasn't really you know 100 sure on i just locked it up for example a number of deaths deaths being reported in china right and if you go to february 15th that's the date where the number of deaths outside of, a nine number of reported uh or confirmed outside of china was more than the number of confirmed inside of china and now the number of confirmed outside of china is 10 times more almost well 10 times more what they are coming out of china so again these are metrics we have to consider uh, when we're looking at this data right so what we're going to do we're going to start looking at the graphs uh, saucy rossi yeah Ch china but the the kicker is the numbers outside of china are growing very rapidly now right so the error within china that china is introducing initially was very large now it's becoming less and less right and some of these graphs will let us know that twitching jason evening evening how are you doing mm, five gallon bucket of rolled oats lamb ready nice beans and the who just goes with China. uh who i don't trust what they're saying as well uh, initially we looked at them i listened to a couple of their conference calls and stuff like this uh you know take what they're saying with a grain of salt right uh, certain things are accurate certain things are not there's a lot of politics at play for us we're going to look at the data 
right? We're not playing politics. We just want to get an idea of what's going on to the best best of our abilities based on the data available. Holy smokes, I actually caught one. This this should be good. The real vegan zombies. Nice, nice. I don't trust China. But no. And a lot of countries, right? A lot of countries are barely testing. A lot of countries are under reporting because you know for two reasons it could be under reporting intentionally or they just don't have the test kits available like who here believes india i think is supposed to be 1500 who here believes in india's 1500 or even 15,000 or even 10,000 my guess is a lot higher right by the way tonight's snack i just cut up some bananas need some potassium and some sugar it, it took me a while to put this table i was been working on these things all day today okay by the way if you see any any mistakes in the data set or in the graphs please let me know and we'll correct it for the next live stream because we're going to continue to look at this data okay yeah i've had to switch sources for my graphs a couple of times i'm using the COVID tracking project as my primary source now chicho is using world meter yeah i'm using world meter right now i'll take a look at the COVID track tracking project as well but i like the world meter right now because they dig down a little bit more and they're still reporting the metrics we were following initially when we started with this right we only had 11 columns before we're looking at 11 bits of information okay and before we get into the let me just check this out okay so again this is the table here's the link to the table and the graphs we're going to take a look at okay and what we're going to do is we're going to look at the data from january 20th to march 31st okay so we got our table uh, right here so i'm going to take the table down and we're going to start looking at the graphs and we're just basically going to move from the columns this way right so we're just going to hit up the columns and go down and take a look at the metrics that we graphed okay and if you want to know uh you know follow our work patreon is where we're at so if you go there right now if you're watching this live the top post is the data right and if you're watching this after we load it up on bitshooter youtube it'll, the link will be in the description of this video and if you ever want to catch these things live twitch is where you want to be at okay uh our twitch channel let me take these guys down i'm going to take down the table i'm going to let me turn on the first graph and take down the table okay and the first table first graph is total confirmed worldwide right that's a pretty steep slope okay oh man chicho i've been watching your youtube vids on corona all evening this is awesome okay awesome the bane of existence welcome to our live stream you're in luck we're looking at the data all the way to yesterday okay so what you're looking at is the data from january 20th to march 31st today being april 1st we're looking at this right so i had to wait last night until the data became available to enter it into the table and i put all the graphs together today right couldn't do it beforehand you gotta include all the data set right nice i'm getting cozy get cozy bane okay we've got some interesting data here now you can make projections out of this you can take this data and do a little bit of crunching and take a look at the slope see do a little calculus and see how far it can extend and you know where the peak might be based on some of the peak that has occurred in other countries possible peak that has occurred in other countries or whatnot right and all of the stuff we may do later on for the series on mathematics we're going to create regarding statistics right because we got the data and this is phenomenal data and it's math in real life right because the name of the game for us is to learn mathematics to a level where we can use it as a powerful tool to make predictions and we already have made predictions when we started looking at this data right those people who have been following the live streams when we first started looking at this data people were pretty much prepped before who came out and said 
oh, there's a problem here, or any country came out, in the Western world came out and said there was a problem, right? So if you know mathematics, you rule your own world. You're not a slave to centralized power to tell you what's going on. You can already make a guess, right? Strange. 20th January was the first time I saw, I saw, parent, I saw parents. Oh, was it Martin? So this graph looks pretty steep. Okay. The second column is the total confirmed cases in China, which has basically died down, right? So the total cases, the previous graph includes China, right? As well as the countries outside of China. And the graph is going, still going pretty steep, right? Okay. If it's going like this, what's the driving mechanism for this thing still going like this? Well, it's not China because China's flattened out. So it must be the confirmed cases we are getting outside of China, which is this. And the slope of this compared to the slope of the world doesn't look like much, but this is a lot steeper than this guy. Okay, the scales change a little bit. I haven't set everything to be on the same scale, same distance, because I need to, you know, be able to put a lot more effort to make sure all these are automated. Hopefully, we'll get to do that on an open spreadsheet online and set things up in a way where as soon as the data is entered into the table, it automatically updates the graphs, right? But the driving mechanism for what we're seeing right now with the global confirmed cases kicking up is not China based on the reported cases, but it's the world. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, one of the metrics we started looking at, which was extremely important, oh, Meg, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, happy 420. Happy 420. Happy, f is it 420 right? It's not 420. April 20th. Odd make, we will definitely do something on April 20th and welcome to our live stream, right? And thank you for early 420 uh, congratulations, right? People are already trying to do that modeling now, but the variables for anything on this scale, make predictions, have a really wide margin of error, exactly. And we'll see that the margin of error, like the range of what the fatality rate could be in the last four graphs that we're going to take a look at total economic collapse when um, we can talk about that during current current events live stream uh, a month of 420 where no one can leave home and all food must be delivered someone wish me a monkey's paw monkeys have paws for 2020 ah, that's right april 2020 odd mick i didn't catch it no it's april 2020 that's right april so uh 420 april 20th this year is going to be an insanely 420 year right yeah yeah double 420 man i didn't it didn't even click in for me dr hate and odd mick you guys are bang on case man as well hell yes brother Lima, how are you doing? Now take a look at this. One of the main metrics we looked at from the get-go was the percent growth per day, right? Because that was really important. How fast is this thing spreading? This is the total growth per day for the total confirmed cases. Okay, and if you look at the table, let me bring up the table um, here. You know what? I'll put it up on the live stream as well. Let me bring the table on the live stream and i have to look at it because this is really small for me i have to look at it online okay on our patreon page so gro percent growth per day total right now is nine percent right in china it's zero percent because it's not really growing according to china and the driving mechanism is the world population the world confirmed cases so the world is also 20 or also 10 percent right but this one here is the total confirmed cases in uh, in the world okay here is the 
uh, sorry, this is the percent growth per day for the world. Okay, so it's sitting around 10%, which is pretty damn like 10% growth per day. Whoa, this is huge, right? Here's a percent growth per day in China. It's just flat, basically zero, because it's not, you, you know, you can trust the data or not trust the data. We're going with what the data is telling us. It's telling there's basically no growth per day inside of China. It's minuscule. That's why we've basically locked it up, right? Hello, I'm so sorry. I'm coming across that glitch again with Twitch. Grr. I'm going to email them. Oh no, Spider Man. I hope the glitch corrects itself. I know you've been looking forward to this one. Okay. Now, if the percent growth per day in the world is around 10%, and in China is around zero, so the driving mechanism for this is the countries outside of China, right? Confirmed cases outside of China. So that's sitting around 10%, right? It came down. The last time we looked at this, and we're looking at a 72 days worth of data right now, by the way, gang, right? So we're looking almost a two and a half months worth of worth of data, right? This is how fast this thing has been growing. In two and a half months, we've gone from just a few hundred cases to confirmed cases to over a million right now, right? So that's huge. That's huge. Okay. Now take a look at this. This is percent growth per day uh, outside of China, right? The next graph we're going to take a look at. Okay. Boop. This is the total number of deaths reported fatalities okay globally total right and this graph does not look good there is a reason why a lot of leaders in different countries are saying expect more the numbers are going to increase right because you can't just when something's growing like this mathematically it's unless it seriously black swan major event occurs or there's something traumatic happening where the curve can all of a sudden come down or it stops in its track the momentum behind this right now going like this is pretty heavy right so it's going to take a while to flatten it out and bring it down so the bad news is this thing's kicking up huge okay and we're going to look at the percent uh, growth of this as well right now this is also good news right or it's doing the same thing but it's good news instead of being bad news right so total deaths bad going steep this is recovered and initially it was flatter but now it's picking up so that means the recovery rate is going a lot faster now right so this is a positive we can pull from the data okay the other positive was of course the growth per day okay total confirmed cases per day went from 20 percent down to 10 percent so the growth rate halved which is really good right even though 10 percent is ridiculously huge right at least it's not 20 percent it's only 10 percent okay and the recovery is looking to be fairly steep which is a great thing right this graph here is problematic right this is the fatality rate and this calculation we're doing we're calculating the, the fatality rate for a specific day right so we're taking the number of reported deaths right fatalities and we're dividing it by the total confirmed cases right unfortunately right it's reaching five percent okay now it kicked up it was around two percent and then kicked up to you know two and a half percent and we saw it going up to three and a half percent right we talked about it saw this thing being three and a half percent and then who came out like a week later or something and said oh it's three and a half percent expect 
the WHO to come out and say that it's 5%. Okay, if they haven't already. Okay. So the odds are there's going to be an update coming because we're seeing it come up hit 5%. When we saw our graph about a month ago, right? When it had already hit 3.5% when it was you know had sit at, you know, bouncing off the 3.5%, about a week later WHO came out and said, "Okay, it's 3.5%." So I'm guessing we're going to get an update on that, right? That is unfortunate. And this is the low number because the other uh, calculations we've done with for the fatality rate to figure out what the fatality rate is we've lagged in one of the calculations is five days and the other one is two weeks the five-day calculation is kicking up into the eight ten percent depending on which metric we're looking at okay so keep this in mind fatality rate according to the numbers that we've tabulated is pretty much five percent now okay this number here is also problematic okay percent total recovered we saw percent total recovered kicking up which was fantastic right you know 40 percent of people being recovered and stuff like this but because the growth rate is exponential kicking up huge it's expanded into the world as as a pandemic is global now we're getting a lot more confirmed cases than there are people recovering that's why we're seeing this thing go up and come down right so right now if i look at my table um because you guys are looking at it in your big screen you should be able to see it better than me but uh let me see what we got let me see what we got uh recovered recovered percent recovered where is my column i believe it's sitting at uh oops i think i added a few more columns so i gotta um recover there we go on my spreadsheet i've locked the um titles but uh, this is just an image i'm looking at uh, uh where are we jeepers jeepers anyway you guys take a look at it uh, because this is big I, I want to be able to read it it's difficult for me to narrow it down because the the headers are not locked in okay so i think that's around uh what is it 10 20 percent now or something like this okay here is another graph which is also problematic this is the death versus recovered as a percentage right so initially the death rate was huge because people were being uh, confirmed to have COVID, right? Confirmed uh, infection, right? And once people are getting sick, it's taken them a while to recover, right? During that recovery period, people started dying. So they couldn't confirm people being recovered. So the number of deaths were more than the number of recovered initially, right? And that was, it wasn't enough data. so you see the whole thing dropping down and as it was dropping down it was great because what it meant when you see the graph go down like this is the number of recovered was growing faster than the number of deaths percentage wise right so it was kicking it down kicking it down we were hoping that it was going to go down and flatten out and slowly become asymptotic to zero so basically um there weren't very very many people dying and more people were recovering unfortunately we're seeing this thing kick up again right that means you know you can interpret this uh, multiple ways you could say oh the virus has mutated is stronger now right maybe the virus has hit the general population where there's a lot of um, elderly are being affected or immune compromised are being affected so they're uh, not being able to recover or you could also look at it in terms of healthcare systems are being overloaded right now in certain countries so they can't help people out that they really want to help out right so there are people that are being sacrificed because there aren't enough ventilators or enough people to take care of them right so unfortunately this is a problematic graph as well we're seeing uh, the death rating go higher okay it's kicking up 
death versus recovered okay the next graph is this guy okay now this is two of two columns i put together right percent total confirmed inside china versus outside china so what we saw basically was all the cases initially were inside china right or 99.9999 percent of the cases were inside china right that's where you see you know and this is out of a hundred percent the y-axis right so almost everybody confirmed that had COVID 19 was inside china and then what you saw is the infection spread out into the rest of the world and as it spread out to the rest of the world the numbers being infected outside of china grew dramatically while china put people in lockdown and physical distancing and whatnot and you know you can take it with you know any which way you want the data coming out of china but there's no doubt that they were able to reduce the rate of infections because they lock things down there was at one point they had 100, 100 million people 120 million people under lockdown right so no matter how trustworthy the data you know coming out of china is uh no matter what you can assume that the number of the infectious infection rate inside china had slowed down meanwhile outside of china a lot of countries were still talking about herd immunity and they didn't lock down or they didn't let their population know that there's something going on in the world right and there are countries that you know they, they couldn't do anything right and the infections grew right so all of a sudden when you see it cross that's the date in the table that we see let me crack open the table again Boop. if you look at the column where it's highlighted which is uh, march 15th the 80,864 confirmed for china and 88,500 uh 574 outside of china that's where you see the data crossing okay that's uh what we're seeing here where the red line is crossing the blue line the blue line being mainland china and outside of china is the red line right outside of china goes above china and right now 90 percent if not more of the confirmed cases of COVID-19 are outside of China so the numbers being reported from inside of China are becoming uh, less and less relevant to the bigger picture right now let's take a look at the next graph this is what we're seeing right total deaths inside China versus outside China so if you assume that china was able to uh reduce the rate of infection inside their country right and they build a few hospitals and you know they kick the their industry into high gear creating ventilators and masks and gloves or whatever it is they needed if they were able to reduce the rate of infection inside china then you're going to see the deaths taper out that's what this graph says right or the data is not being reported accurately take it whichever way you want or a combination of each right but the deaths outside of china that's problematic right that is very problematic okay the other graph that we have here is this is the percent total deaths in china, inside china versus outside china so again it's the same type of graph that we're seeing total confirmed cases inside china versus outside china 90 plus percent of the deaths now are outside of china okay so again the numbers being reported from inside of china are becoming less and less uh their weight is being reduced relative to the bigger picture right which is what we were looking for initially uh when we we're talking about this data because you know however you want to look at the data coming out of china we knew that once it hit the world other countries we were going to get more data coming in so we could we would get a better idea of what's taking place right and the better idea one of the most important metrics we want to take a look at is what the fatality rate is right so the next 
five graphs really we're gonna take a look at the fatality rate based on lag time right because if people be, are being confirmed to have COVID-19 and if you know if they're being tested right then they're supposed to have should be showing signs of infection you know coughing dry cough high temperature uh, fever whatever it was lack of sleep I believe and whatnot so there's certain uh, symptoms you would be showing right to get tested in a huge chunk of the world or at least until a few days ago right they weren't mass testing everyone some countries are right once they test someone that shows uh, symptoms and they're confirmed positive some countries have been going through and testing everyone they were in contact with right some countries haven't so what we're seeing right now is uh, the death rate kick up because people have been infected for a longer period of time so this graph right here okay is the percent total death inside china versus outside china and this graph that we're about to look at is the fatality rate outside of china right so we're excluding inside of china the fatality rate outside of china is i gotta look at my table or take a look at the graphs oh hold on a second i gotta crack this open sorry gang oh hold on i should be able to make this larger for me to be able to read that Oop. let's see if we can um, again it's five percent right but the the slope is a little bit steeper which is problematic as well right now let me show you the next graph that we have and the next graph let me is a five day lag because if someone's being someone is being confirmed to have covid i believe the earliest that if things go sour that people are passing away is anywhere between three four five six seven days right so we took a lag the number of deaths if you look at the table and you'll see the formula in the table in the main table right the number of deaths and instead of comparing the number of deaths to the same day as the number of confirmed we're kicking it back five days right so we're taking the number of deaths and dividing it by the number of confirmed cases five days before okay this is what we're seeing okay this is fatality rate for total confirmed cases with a five day lag and this becomes problematic right the fatality rate Da, 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 da. let me find the right column fatality rate out or total with a uh, five day lag is eight percent okay and that's not a reason unreasonable thing to do really it's not an unreasonable thing to do if you kick it back to three day lag and i think very few it's on the extremities that people when they're showing symptoms within three days they might pass pass away it takes a few days longer right so five day lag we got a fatality rate of eight percent which is huge right which is really large okay now the next column and this was total cases right now we're going to take a look at fatality rate for total confirmed cases with a two week lag because uh, I don't think the average would be two weeks right I hope not anyway uh, because that would mean that it would take people you know they would be suffering for a while and unfortunately some people that go on their ventilator I'm not I haven't followed the data but someone could crack me uh, if this is incorrect but if someone goes is put on a ventilator what is the lag time if they're getting care uh, that they might pass away when do they go past the hump of the danger zone where they start recouping right how long does that last 
Okay. So if we do a two week lag, this is what we see. Okay. Now I did the two week lag for the whole data set from January 20th all the way to March 31st, right? So January 20th, two weeks in, and then you collect the data from the number of confirmed then. The data was sparse then. That's why you're seeing, oh, fatality rate is much higher than what the recovery rate is like, because we're over 100%, like everybody's dying, right? But you kick it down. Once you see the graph go down, okay, and if you do a two week lag, it's coming up and it's sitting at 20% now, right? So if there's a two week lag from the time that people are confirmed on average, that if they're passing away it takes two weeks we're at 20 percent fatality rate i don't think this is reasonable to like to be honest right i think this is an extreme right i think the five day is more reasonable number okay and if that's the case we're sitting at eight percent now the next graph is the fatality rate with a five-day lag outside of china and this again is sitting at a little over eight percent it's eight and a half percent right and the reason it kicks up to eight and a half percent is because we froze the column the number of deaths that china was reporting because it's barely budging right so what we did we froze that column the number of deaths you'll see it in the table it's highlighted right the number of deaths being reported inside of china right so we're really just going with the number of deaths outside of china if you do a five-day lag right with the number of deaths reported and divided by the number of confirmed cases five days beforehand we're sitting at eight and a half percent right now right it's it hit nine percent and it's coming down to around eight and a half percent hopefully it'll continue to come down okay now unfortunately as you can guess the two-week lag looks even worse right so outside of china with a two-week lag we're sitting at 30 plus percent and i think that's unreasonable right this would be an extreme extreme case that would happen okay uh, just some numbers to keep in mind right uh, and these are should paint a certain picture that hopefully people take uh, you know think about this a little bit more because a lot of people are dismissing uh, the uh, the devastating effect this thing is having not only just on an economic front political front and stuff like this but the human toll that is taking especially on healthcare workers right and the last thing you want in any country in any community is the healthcare workers to be affected because if they're affected then you're taking people out of the game that could be helping other people and one person helping multiple people if you're just doing the numbers uh, will have a traumatic effect on what the fatality rate will be uh, for that country for that region okay so that's the one table we have and 19 graphs that are available on our patreon page if you want to take a look at that data more okay and here's the link to the patreon for those of you following live you can click on that link then the table is there larger version of this table okay because this table that you're seeing on your screen right now is only for the month of um, march right the table we're I've provided on a patreon page it goes from january 20th until march 31st so it's a bigger table okay and it has the formulas at the bottom so you can check the formulas to see what cells are being divided by what cells or multiplied or subtracted and whatnot and what numbers have been frozen or whatnot right and for those of you watching this on another platform we're live streaming this on twitch so if you want to watch these things live and we're going to do monthly updates i'm pretty sure we're not going to do a two-week update we might we did it last time so right now we've been doing two updates a month 
we might reduce that to once a month uh, because the data is so much but we might kick it up to two you know maintain it at two weeks we'll see how things go aside from that i'm going to go to chat and uh, catch up with the conversation to see what's going on um, because I saw a lot of uh, discussion taking place. I just didn't want to pause uh, anymore and just go through the, the data, the table, and the graphs, right? And I saw uh, some subs and follows happening. Thank you very much for the follows, at least, and the subs, uh, if there were subs. If you're joining our stream, join us this channel. I hope you're um, finding this information useful. Okay hello gang let me take down the twitch and the patreon and of course patreon is a phenomenal way to support this work if you do have the means to support this work and if you just want to follow what we're posting right because i don't make anything private uh you can just follow and get the post coming to you but if you do have the means supporting this work through patreon is a fantastic way to do so okay chicho chicho is just trying to share data right now yeah that's it we can't really crunch the numbers you know beyond this we can we can do speculation and stuff like this but i'd rather just continue to create these graphs and give ourselves a visual as to what's happening right because really depending on how you as you can tell right with the fatality rates if we do a lag all of a sudden the fatality rate is really kicking up high some people may use that that way some people initially were here on the stream they're going oh if you compare it to the world population is point zero zero which is ridiculous right so there's a lot of different ways you can look at this data every country is so different at timelines here yeah this, and by the way this is 72 days we're looking at right my biggest question is where they will there get to a point where the food supply chain will run out uh, always be making i don't think so we're lucky we're coming into spring now the odds are this is going to be popping its head out again fall of next year right so wherever you are really wherever you are this summer do some prep work and we're going to do some prep work during the live streams if you if you were here watching the live streams you would have noticed that over the summer this summer i did a lot of preserves i made jam and dried mint and uh, we made a whole bunch of stuff right crab apple butter and stuff like this because it's always good to have food you should have a pantry right so really be aware of what's taking place this year okay this winter and appreciate the fact that this might be a cyclic thing that's happening now will it be as severe next year as it was this year the odds are not because some people have already been been infected uh there'll be a little bit of immunity and blah 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 people will be more, more aware and whatnot right however this thing might be a cyclic thing if you're concerned about food uh start doing some prep okay start doing some prep and if you have a space in your house or your apartment or wherever you are to have a pantry make some preserves and have some food on the side now oh like it's been in uh, bass for a long long time but matured yeah so i'm gonna scroll down gang through the chat and if there's anything directed towards me please let me know or anything directed towards the data just you know if you have any questions regarding what we've talked about 3.5 to 5 percent is terrible and if hospitals are overrun capacity it will definitely go over 10 percent. yeah and that's what we're seeing in italy italy has been overrun spain's been overrun and their fatality rate is hot more than 10 percent now i believe right which is very problematic yeah uh absurdicon absurdicon italy death rate was 11.8 percent around noon yeah you do not want to overload your system to hit that level right wow there's a lot of chat gang i'm scrolling all the way down wow 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 so much so much a lot of discussion and rightfully so by the way there should be intense discussion regarding this That's what I was saying. I live in a country of 22 million and only 159 deaths, 5% fatality rate. 
only five uh, 159 deaths how many tested with jupiter in mind oh. banana okay smile we try to facilitate discussion people presenting alternative views is healthy but no reason to let you uh, let people attack agreed you can discuss you can talk about whatever you want but don't attack people right because the first person you should be attacking is me because i'm presenting the data this is me putting this data together right you should be taking this data and analyzing the data yourself as well let the mathematics speak right not opinions and guesses and whatnot i would agree with getting food because the transportation of food could be a big problem agreed beans which is one of the most important things we need to do we need to localize food production right ridiculously important if doesn't this doesn't wake people up and realize that how fragile they are if their supply chain the food that they're consuming comes from miles away and there's nothing locally being grown you guys are in trouble you have one season right now spring is here right you guys should be trying to make sure that wherever you are in the world kicks into high gear and gets off their asses whatever government city county uh politicians that you have and you force them to start having some kind of food security within the community because if this thing kicks in high again as always be making i believe that was saying there might be problems with the food supply right if there's problems with the food supply what are you gonna do right i know new york alone just passed one one thousand deaths yeah new york is problematic twitching jason in the state and always be uh uh sleepy waves was very concerned about that right in the state i live in i uh, uh we have around 500 cases of virus beans uh the testing how, to, how, how many people are they testing how long have they been testing right i'm just worried they are inflating us numbers i don't think they're inflating them i really don't think they're inflating them i'm gonna scroll down anti-cage you still here <laughs> abduction case man with your wife being a nurse what precautions do you guys take when she comes home from work case man says a lot uh by the way uh um, absurd account my partner is a nurse as well when she's coming in the door we have a box where she steps into the box and takes her shoes off in the box and then all the clothes go into another box okay and quick clean up right and new clothes the next shift right you need to take precautions you may not be cohabitating soon if uh, her exposure uh, ticks up okay we haven't we haven't started talking about that case man yet well we have talked about it but we're not considering that right now me and my partner anyway south dakota only has two cities biggest city is 130,000 k people we have done about uh, 5,000 tests okay okay beans. now the size of the country or the county or the state doesn't really matter look at iceland population is not very dense but per capita is a disaster anti cage i'm going to time you out time out brother okay i'm just not interested in uh, th there's a lot of conversation going on i want to make sure the the chat the mods are able to enjoy the conversation and uh, i'm just going to time out uh, anyone that goes a little bit too far okay 
be respectful ah yes the last bastion of freedom bombs yeah there's a lot of politics involved in all this right so much discussion going on then you guys are rooting against your own nation i don't understand how so uh with jupiter i missed a conversation so fill me in You can be critical of your own nation that doesn't mean you don't want it to be to succeed yeah lord cutley i 100 percent agree for some reason people think that if you call out for politicians for bs or your government for committing crimes if you hold power accountable people think that's you're betraying your country that's ridiculous right hold criminals accountable otherwise they will run amok in your country okay we must be critical of our own nations yeah his first comment started it odd did it did it okay i'm not gonna go back that far that's for sure i said even if not being american i worry about usa because it's the last free nation in this world uh with jupiter in mind uh free nation in the world what does that mean are, are you serious free nation in the world um uh, yeah no <laughs> if you consider the united states to be a free nation then uh man your definition of freedom is pretty ridiculous okay free to do what bomb other nations throw people and lock them up and throw away the key hold uh uh, special juries what's that called special prosecution the ones that took chelsea manning and uh, secret trials chelsea manning and threw her in jail and charged her thousand dollars a day because she she would ref she refused to bow down to a dictatorship uh, to fascist regime or what the free nation in the world what I wish that was true yeah I wish actually I wish every nation was free I personally don't you know what where's a free nation I don't know I, I right now top of my head I can't even think of a free nation in the world Iceland is the closest I come to right Iceland is the freest country that I know of okay yeah I've always been making sense you have a wacky definition of freedom 100% Uh, absurdicon says i'm from a pretty conservative town and it's insane how being critical of a country is interpreted as anti-patriotism yeah and that's just centralized education right centralized programming right centralized indoctrination those people who think that aren't free human beings they don't have free thought they are completely programmed lord cutley oh i'm in a red state as well i know how that goes wow being well informed and critical of any centralized power is of duty as citizens 100 that was the core foundation of the united states right aside from other you know some bad stuff as well right us the last free nation according to its own definition of freedom the nation of chichonistan <laughs> case man well okay i will keep listening no grudges no grudges jupiter usa land of capitalism spider any luck yeah spider how's your twitch stream is it going okay i hope it's going okay slowly but we're working on it texas has some amazing people come out of texas bill hicks was a texan bill hicks was one of the greatest prophets that has ever come out of the united states uh like once you understand what what bill hicks was saying you wake up fast right frodo locked down just 40 minutes ago cool 
let's see what happens right i mean everybody saw they were pushing it you know those indoctrinated youth that went to the spring break and that's what centralized education produces in large parts uh, craziness banana it's just a ride it's just a ride chicho bill hicks the the guy tool tributes uh, an album to yep that bill hicks 100 percent a tool rocks if you ever get a chance go to a tool show i've been it's phenomenal chicho sorry if i've missed it but have you have we done any finance or economics chats since this virus began uh, to spread in north america i'm curious to hear your take um on the markets if you followed them at all twitching jason i've been following them a lot and uh i found i'm finding it fascinating right i'm doing my own analysis on it uh to a certain degree on the same level as we're doing for covid but i'm doing it in just mental note and stuff like this uh we have done current events that's part of thing but twitching jason if you want post it on our discord in the next batch of streams and i'm going to announce it in the next two three days the next batch batch of streams to come up and i'll include a personal finance economics stream in that as well there's some cool things going on economically all right crazy stuff right now it's a trader's dream right traders have lived completed their lives that were would dream about having an opportunity that is being presented right now their whole lives and they would never have had it right this is a trader's dream right now I'm, I've, I've dropped hints in previous streams of oh this that that look into uh look into here finance look into companies that are producing uh fitness exercises home fitness exercises if i had lots of money on the side i'd be investing in them and really divesting from companies that have gyms right can can we eat banana and an empty stomach i think so it's actually it's really good i like it anyway i have said this before before while you were da -da 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 speaking the news in my country did not tell us uh huawei g5 contract deals with china have been uh processed since friday why keeping this information and i wonder oh this is regarding 5g and stuff yeah and 5g is uh, you know it could be very very nasty hi how are you oh yep how are you doing doing well here i wish i had uh the foresight to buy some stock in zoom zoom twitching jason that's like a dad joke quality comment twitching what do you say antarctica's pretty free isn't it <laughs> walmart publex albertson amazon there are a bunch of companies making a ton of money off of this yeah cannabis stocks we talked about cannabis stocks right martin says potassium helps you absorb calcium nice hope you're doing well chicho richard how are you doing got a chance to catch some stream before work this morning nice so you're in uh europe you're in the uk i bought grub hub banana 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 is good banana is good yeah uk here yeah morning stream talking about data analysis for covid19 heavy heavy but important very very important right very important i'll give you guys the link to the oops that's not it <laughs> that's the person i timed out <laughs> here's the link to the 
<laughs> I had to copy his name. Here's a link to um, our Patreon page where we have uh, all the data. This table, no, a larger table than this, and 19 graphs, right? And our Patreon page is here. Uh, if you want to go there, and the top post right now is where the data is at. What time is it, is it for everyone? I'm 1 a.m. for me. Abstraction. I'm uh, 9.45 here. My brother-in-law works in cannabis industry as a trimmer. He's in Oregon, and his county or state, I'm not sure, is saying marijuana industry is essential and staying open. Thoughts, Chicho? Yeah. There are, there, Spider-Man, there are a lot of people that require cannabis to be able to function in life they're in pain they got back pain they're they've they're having chemotherapy radiation they have uh, uh, digestion issues they have Crohn's disease uh, cannabis is one of the greatest medicinal plants that we have on this planet right Brighton Richard you're in Brighton cannabis is medical in Florida so it's 100% staying um, yeah it's medicine open here Birmingham here does anyone know how exactly is the process for diagnosis of this of COVID-19 it, it varies from country to country right I believe there are test kits coming out that now they can do it in about um, a few minutes right they're approving them but their accuracy is like 70 percent or something from what I understand anyway 5 45 a.m. Martin that for me i got up at 5 30 this morning <laughs> and you stay up the other side our time is shift is shifted right Hada, how you doing how long will we uh, be locked up uh here in the pacific northwest uh i think this is going to go on for uh, a couple of weeks two three four weeks maybe right are you guys totally locked down like for for us in BC and by the way Hannah is in Washington State and I'm in BC Canada we're neighbors right same type of climate and whatnot but Seattle got hit harder than we did initially Vancouver's hit hard but the testing wasn't rolled up faster and they're doing it now but and people the smaller population is spreading slower right to a certain degree but Vancouver is problematic uh, but we're still able to walk around Hannah, can you guys still go for walks? And stores are open. You can go buy food and stuff. And there is buses still running. So there are certain people out and about, right? They need they need transportation to go to work if they're healthcare workers or whatnot, right? And the cleaners, like huge respect to the 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 people taking care of cleaning, wiping everything down and in grocery stores, especially those in hospitals right the cleaning staff in hospitals have one of the toughest jobs around right and the nurses will attest to this they're like i don't know how they do it right like i know nurses that said they couldn't do their job uh first of all they couldn't do it in a nursing job if they weren't around and they would never do the cleaning job because it is it's too traumatic for them it's a lot a lot right Oh man, I'm glad to see you share my enthusiasm. Also, extremely fascinated to see how a majority of workforce may permanently shift to working from home. As someone who's worked from home for years, I've always wondered how a massive shift to remote work would change the world as we currently know it. Twitching Jason, I'm with you. For me, I've done contract work for 20 years, right? I've worked solo basically this is like two or three years that i work for companies and stuff like this and i realized I, it, why would i do that uh so it, it's interesting seeing this and i've had a few people contact me to say hey chicho how do you do this how do you do this because they know i've been doing this for a long time right so a lot of people that had all their eggs in one basket had worked for a company for a number of years everything there and I kept on I've told people over the years and if you guys have been following the the live streams politics economics or whatnot 
I, I continue to say decentralize yourself have multiple streams of revenue right make yourself anti-fragile as Nassim Nicholas Taleb would say right that way when something traumatic happens or dramatic happens in your industry you don't find yourself out in the streets okay this headline was from today Quote, Taliban pledges not to kill healthcare workers as fear of coronavirus pandemic spreads in Afghanistan. Okay. Uh, I think every country should say that. One of the countries that has killed a lot of healthcare workers would be uh, the United States, right? In Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Syria, right? sadly the u.s isn't quite ready for that yet yeah sadly breaking into shops Ch chicho how do you feel about rent freezes i'm all for it i think every country in the world right now and they have the abilities to do it i think every country in the world right now should come out and say rent interest mortgage okay um uh, what do you call it uh the strata fees of condo fees frozen right that would have been the optimum way to relieve pressure from the society instead of getting a brock bureaucratic machine into place to send everybody money and only a select type of people get money some people are off the grid right and they pay rent still they're not going to get any money and they still have to pay rent oh you just created a serious problem serious problem in your society right part of my un understands how much it would help but i also see how it's other individuals income that's the kicker freeze it everywhere it's not just a rent freeze mortgage strata payments condo payments uh rent uh interest all of it frozen you could easily do it right who's gonna take the hit wall street why should wall street be bailed out while main uh what do you call it? main street gets shafted right i see what you're saying yeah easily done will show easy is way easier done than what they have done right <laughs> way easier done unfortunately for us right if they did what we just said freeze it all right then they wouldn't get paid and they want to get paid right that's why you need to criticize your own countries when you have corrupt politicians corporations power that's never held accountable running amok they take taxpayer money and they give it to themselves right landlords there we go hannah said said it what did hannah say landlords don't matter they are just greedy but uh, hannah there are people that don't want to buy property right not that i agree with the landlord situation the way it is right i don't i don't but personally for me i disagree with calling a certain segment of society scum i don't agree with that right that's playing into uh, it's a trap right that's exactly what centralized power has done to many of us many people in society right just look at prohibition these people are scum boom for a hundred years right persecuting people for growing plants right what insanity right so i try to refrain from saying this segment of society is scum this segment of stuff even though i say wall street but wall street is not people wall street is a system it's completely corrupt system right you can call a system corrupt garbage but people know wall street has 70 percent of the wealth it would be so easy to uh, absurd con ridiculously easy and wall street is is a what do you call it a, a slush slush machine right they they take money and they're laundering money 
they take money from many and give it to the few and they do it very efficiently right for them so they pay zero taxes and screw over everybody right that's the machine in place right why are we bailing them out in a matter of 12 years just imagine 2008 2020 right 12 years right trillions of dollars given to them 12 years they filtered that through it took them this is how much money was given to them in 2008 the biggest scam in world history at that point this is how much money they gave them it took them 12 years to launder that money and take it all out and they ran out of money after 12 years now they needed more money to be able to launder it again right how long how long is it going to take them to launder this money and are people going to put up with it you tell me should people put up with it absurdicon i agree with you at my current place in life i have no clue when i'm going to purchase land so landlords are all right sometimes there's good ones and bad ones absurdicon 100 percent right don't pigeon is it called pigeonhole people or pigeonhole segment of society like i i never liked the term one percent i don't like it i didn't like it during occupy wall street where i was if you know my work <laughs> i was writing articles back then right i never like one percent right i have friends that are considered to be the one percent right they're very amazing good people right i disagree with making the other the evil right ultimately it's up to the banks to freeze mortgages and in turn rents for citizens and businesses it's up to the country the country can go in there and say you do it right now right it's up to the, really the people right did you guys see the 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 banking head people come out I posted in our economics thing where they came out and said oh don't pull your money out of the banks it's the safest place to be we guarantee a CDI CDIS I forget all the acronyms it's it's uh, guaranteed and you'll it's the safest place to have your money we don't want bank runs and stuff like this Wow Wow ever happen catholic traditionalist chicho i'm currently not collecting rents on any of my rental properties that are rented by tenants that cannot currently afford to pay during this crisis since i'm paying mortgage on those properties it is not a pain-free policy i agree with you uh catholic tradition that's fantastic for you for turning to your tenants and saying look if you guys can't afford it it's okay right awesome awesome i make this point only to refute the notion proposed by hannah that all landlords are agree i 100 agree with you a catholic traditions and we thank you for doing that humanity thanks you for doing that if you believe if you're a catholic traditionalist uh you're gonna be looked upon fondly you're doing a good thing right phenomenal okay and that's the reason we should never say this group of society is bad no never ever ever right and if i ever do it man call me out please please because i used to do it when i was younger i was programmed i was brainwashed i was indoctrinated right we can only really affect our immediate surroundings so don't um use better words jupiter please okay i'm not gonna allow that use better words don't be don't be an a-hole is better than that right please okay thank you case man i apologize i spoke too soon hannah thank you 
God bless you. Awesome. Thank you, Anna. It's easy to feel that way in a in a time like this. Yeah, yeah, and it's okay. All right. Always, be, I disagree. There are people who misappropriate their power in ways I would consider bad or evil. Sure, always be making. I'm not sure where the conversation was going, came from, but I jumped in. <laughs> I read because I'm, I'm down. I caught up with the chat. Ooh. Right. Like I said earlier, let's not direct our anger at each other. Direct it at the centralized power. Yeah. I love medicinal marijuana. However, however, my girlfriend put the kabush on it for me because I was smoking too much. Now I have to wait till Saturday night to use the magic pipe. Hannah, why not? If you're really human beings, we have addictive personalities, right? So if you you have someone in your life that cares about you, and I think your girlfriend probably cares about you, right? Then if they say, hey, maybe you shouldn't do this for a little bit, take their advice. Maybe it's a good thing, right? <laughs> Spider-Man happened to me too. <laughs> thing in moderation, including moderation. On another note, so Case Man says everything in moderation, including moderation. My saying is uh, extremism in moderation right if you're gonna go hardcore don't go hardcore all the time right if you're gonna drive don't put the pedal to the metal every time you get in the car you're gonna blow the car right but you can do it every now and then extremism in moderation tolerance break till saturday mandated my my everyone buy gold <laughs> oh, i want I, I might have been uh taking you out of the game in relation relations matter you don't want that sometimes you need a bill hicks break sometimes you need a bill hicks break and you need to do heroic doses as terence mckenna would say right if the diagnosis is not accurate how can deaths be attributed to corona so fast also there are deaths occurring that are not being attributed to corona because they don't test them right so the numbers are the numbers you can't right now there there are problems in the data right but all we can do is analyze the data to the best of our abilities however we can't really say this is the main problem with the data right so how could they attribute it to that you know some people are being attributed falsely some people are saying oh because they had a high fever and they couldn't breathe they're saying it's uh COVID, okay without testing them so they should test them yes but it's also on the other front as well so it's occurring across the board right busy free man if i test positive for covid escape the hospital run into the street and get run over by a bus what will my cause of death be agreed a hypothetical right I may slip up and sneak a puff of the puff. Well, talk to your girlfriend first. If you made her a promise that you're going to hold out, uh, talk to her first, right? Man, I've been listening to so much Carlin lately. Nice. A lot of stuff he's saying is still relevant uh, to what, what is happening today. Yeah, for sure. That's a sign of brilliance, right? I've seen Carlin live, by the way george garland the amount of people dead from heroin and it's not an uh ash ashnip you can't compare this to heroin or car accidents right you could we talked this during or at the beginning of the stream because covid is in play because people are in lockdown there's less people driving so i looked at one graph i'm not sure if it was posted on our discord or i saw it somewhere else where the number of fatalities per week in the united states are down so some people could argue that COVID is saving lives right but is it COVID saving lives or the lockdown saving lives so cause and effect and stuff like this so you can't really compare heroin to COVID. it totally complete like you can't even compare the flu to COVID, 
right? The fatality rate of the flu is 0.1%. The fatality rate of COVID that we looked at, we looked at six graphs with the fatality percentage, right? The lowest we have is 5%. 5 to 0.1, right? That's 50 times, right? The multiple. Holy camoles. And people are comparing COVID to the flu. Some people that I follow are comparing COVID to the flu. Some people that I have respect for are comparing COVID to the flu, right? Everybody has some kind of fallacy they attach themselves to, even me, right? That's why I always tell people, if you you find you find that I'm seriously mistaken or even partially mistaken on a concept, please call me out. I don't want to look like a dingling, right? I'm going all the way down to the chat, gang. Uh, there's a lot of chat going on. Uh, Will show Chicho, a big part of me hates using Amazon, but right now it's one of the only ways I know of to get what I need while staying inside. Any recommendations for other options? Okay, Will show. Here's the thing: when you're getting your packages from Amazon, how are you handling them? There are people working in Amazon factory. Uh, warehouses right now that are being tested positive for COVID. The mailman or the delivery service is delivering a lot of packages and they're going a lot of places, handling a lot of boxes, right? If you get a package from Amazon, pick up the package, have a safe place that you take your package to, unbox the stuff. Don't touch your face while you're doing this, right? Don't contaminate anything. Don't bring the box put it on your dinner table right or your kitchen table counter or anything right take it to a safe space right crumple off the box put it outside take whatever package you got wash it down right spray it whatever you need to do wash your hands take those packages out transfer them into a container that if it's food or whatever it transfer into a container that's clean throw the package away wash your hands again right so don't assume just because a package comes to you from the mail that it's it you you might not get uh infected right i'm just saying that we don't know what you know what the probability of that is but people saw a false sense of uh what do you call it uh, security as far as your question goes it really depends what you're getting from amazon like for me i just stopped buying like i'm not buying i'm not picking up com comic stores closed i'm not bidding on any comics on ebay right i wish right <laughs> some stuff that's going pretty damn cheap right but i'm not going to overload the system i don't want packages coming handling right i'm not going to introduce that into my life or introduce it into someone else's life right so stop things if it's food if you have no other choice sure go ahead and do it there are some other like we have some local places that you can order food from online but they were overwhelmed in the, in the first like three weeks ago all of a sudden uh, some places that you we used to order some seeds organic seeds and stuff right online their websites were down saying they just had a note saying we're overwhelmed with the number of orders we've received uh our website online uh purchasing site is closed uh until we fulfill the orders that we already have right one of the things we're doing by the way will show we're going to the local farm so we're driving to a local farm because the chickens don't have covid local farms have chickens right chickens lay eggs it's springtime too so they're laying more eggs right so farmers have to sell their eggs so for us we go to a local farm and buy our eggs we're getting 30 eggs for nine dollars canadian right so that comes out to like seven dollars us for 30 eggs or free range organic run eggs eggs is a good source of protein if you're looking for protein i would say instead of getting it from amazon go to a local farm if you have one and buy their eggs right there we have a local chocolate place that we've gone to and bought some chocolate my girlfriend is here her screen name is uh cascadias cascadias how are you doing is hannah allowed to puff puff i think hannah wants to puff puff do you give the okay i'm scrolling down gang i'm going down i'm going down 
please you can't just spread misinformation right now you need to base your actions on good information i wonder who he's talking to case man you're taking care of it case man that's good Anna needs <laughs> Anna needs a buff buff because <laughs> oh funny here i'll show here let's wait 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 Anna needs a puff puff because look at this graph 34 percent fatality rate you need a puff puff if this doesn't make you do puff puff i don't know what will Anna needs to cool it with the way casca casca diaz hannah needs to cool it with the weed okay hannah too much bro hannah you're off no good you sometimes the out the person looking at it from outside and closest to you they know they know i would take their advice busy freeman vitamin dc da, 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 da. eggs are the fastest absorbed protein after we we protein is it martin milk so what about cheese is cheese a fast absorbing protein as well yogurt yogurt has got some protein i guess martin is trying to find the link now hannah needs uh meditation hannah needs meditation uh oh where to go hannah needs meditation to chill not wait okay perfect uh, hannah you should be meditating thanks for the bits by the way anna busy correlation is not causing busy correlation is not causation for sure nate hey chicho missed the stream yesterday work at the icu was pushed back so i'm starting friday nice feels like things here in the netherlands are only getting started yeah nate um, i'm following someone from the from holland from netherlands that's been uh, uh that live stream not live well i just watched their videos so they've been giving updates from the netherlands and uh from what they're saying uh things might be kicking up a little bit all right guys 1 a.m here and i am beat i'm gonna get some sleep stay safe guys looking forward to talking to her most soon sweet awesome twitching jason sweet dreams and thank you for sticking around intrepid how are you doing hey chicho hope you're having a good day having a good day intrepid thank you been really busy been putting this table together in the graphs all day and i had some students that i had to live stream with as well greek yogurt is an excellent source of protein and amino acids nice love it greek yogurt 12 percent 10 percent 15 percent the fat content have you read all those books a lot of them on this side anyway a lot of them on this side uh, that side no that's my partners yeah yogurt probiotics they're good for the tummy uh, yogurt is amazing uh, cheese has whey and casein protein like milk we is fast casein is slow perfect combo okay cool i need to start wow i don't where where else do you get we whey by the way the the water from yogurt if you buy yogurt and take out a little bit of yogurt you'll see water form in there i think that's there's a lot of is it called we way we in way in there i think it's called way that's way juice isn't it what are those triangle things triangle things i don't know oh you're talking with hannah thanks good night dragaloid good night or you might be saying good night someone else but if you are going to sleep calling a night sweet dreams their bits and a strong chicho a working girl will show working girl whey protein is basically protein powder oh is that what it is always been making dang i haven't had yogurt in eight. oh really man i eat a lot of yogurt i love yogurt yeah yogurt is one of my two go-to things uptime oh the other way exclamation point and uptime 
will show. Thank you for the bits. Correlation is not causation. So if you have COVID, you die. How can you attribute the cause? Uh, busy Freeman. Oh, we're almost been up for two hours. I get powdered whey from shop. Okay. Yogurt will have some whey in it. Yeah, you're right. Okay, awesome. It's a bit party. <laughs> Chicho, I meant working girl because he said he was throwing cash at you with the best. Ah! <laughs> I don't do the. <laughs> My pleasure, Nate. Each bit donated is a puff Hannah is going to take. <laughs> he can't do until saturday and i agree he shouldn't do until saturday he needs to meditate that's why the people that sign death certificates are trained to make those decisions yeah i mean there's a there's a chain of events that has to occur right but right now everything's overloaded so take everything with a grain of salt maybe friday as long as you get the okay i know Do you meditate, Chicho? I, I do walking or sometimes I have in the past. I haven't been doing the just the breathing. Ah, actually, no, no, no. Let me rephrase. I do do one of the exercises I do. I breathe through it. It's meditation. I'll show it to you guys. For me, that's meditation. So I, I do it with weights and it's relaxing. It's amazing. And I'm doing it almost every morning i didn't get a chance to do it this morning i was really busy but almost every morning i do it maybe you can send some uh liquor <laughs> liquor my way <laughs> sorry brother borders closed <laughs> so can me and go meet you this summer and we will go cliff jumping um i don't know Anna. i don't know uh, I am a pretty private person, brother. Even though you see this, I am very private, right? I, I separate certain things, right? Like wherever I've worked in my life, it's been very seldom that I do socializing in my work atmosphere, right? And I'm very, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I like being solo a lot, Uh we'll see hannah we'll see but right now i would say no i'm already uh, i have a lot of people in my life and they uh, you know i like my privacy i love my privacy thank you for the offer though <laughs> i take that as a serious compliment by the way any thoughts on the 2.2 .2 billion dollar stimulus from the two you mean six trillion dollar intrepid six at least anywhere between two to ten trillion dollar uh scam yeah it's theft they're giving it to themselves what is a what is a subject you've been dying to do do a video on but haven't gotten to uh to just yet oh spider-man there's so many so many the math stuff for sure i would love to kick up the math stuff but i need uh, I need the funds to be coming in enough through the work that I'm doing right now online to kick me up to a level where I can reduce the amount of work I have to do that is not related to that so I can put more focus on it. To be able to create the math content the way I really want to create it, to put these modules together, I have to be sort of focused on it full time. So that's one thing I really want to do but it's nothing that uh is not going to happen with time it will happen with time but i could dive into it as soon as enough funds are coming in like that's like you should see what i got lined up man wow 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 chicho you tweeted something about the correlation between wearing masks in public and containing the virus did you do any further no no nate i just tweeted it because it was nasim nicholas talib this guy this guy's book that we're reading 
that I've read, not we're reading, we read some of it and I finished. And he's a statistician, right? And I like statistics. And he made a comment that I like that I retweeted it. I don't retweet too much stuff, but I do retweet certain things that I find interesting. Some things that I like on uh, Twitter, right? It doesn't mean I like them. I'm just highlighting them so I have it archived, right? So, you know, people say, oh, you like this, this. I'm just archiving. Like, personally, for me, uh, people put way too much emphasis on things people like or dislike and stuff like this. I just use them as bookmarks sometimes, right? Oh, yeah, bookmark, bookmark, bookmark. I wish they had options saying you agree, you don't agree, you're just archiving, you haven't read, uh, you're going to read later, uh, you, you this, you this, you this. Just that's it right but i like that one actually i like the comment he made and it was statistics related i don't think it's it's a hundred percent correlation between mask and that right there's a lot of things in play right but it's worth noting right i think they should just call it noting noting you could note positive and negative right maybe i'll just cliff jump <laughs> on my way down i'll yell chicho instead of toronto <laughs> I, I still haven't found a place to go cliff jumping in my area brother there's one place that's in a lake but i don't want to jump into a lake uh, lakes i find problematic things shift in lakes you could be cliff jumping in a lake where at the bottom a log was lodged and it's gotten loose and it's drifted up right and when you jump you're gonna get nailed right i like cliff jumping into the ocean into rivers i do but it's got to be really shallow i don't like rivers either because rivers uh the the water goes up and down a lot so it depends when you're jumping you have to know the know the water level really well you got to know your lakes really well right uh, and your rivers really well so uh, this summer i'm going to look for a place to be able to cliff jump here uh Okay, you can do that, Anna. <laughs> Correct me up. Uh, Absurdicon. I like the solo life and privacy as well. My last relationship, I was with the other person so much that I lost that, and it made the relationship very toxic. Oh, yeah. You need time solo. I do anyway. Busy for Machicho. Have you ran an AI models on this data? Uh, are you into AI? no i haven't i haven't run it i haven't done uh, ai modeling and i'm not a coder right and i'm not a coder Ch -ch -ch chicho excited for the lineup content i really hope you do uh, get funds your way yeah it will happen spider-man right and i really do appreciate it. like seriously if you do like this work here i'll put it up again patreon is a fantastic way to support this work right for anyone that looking for funds to put somewhere right decentralize yourself instead of uh getting disney plus and all this jazz right sending your funds to a centralized institution that's trying to enslave you and write laws that take uh, copy uh things out of the public domain out right start distributing those those funds that would go to centralized institutions and enslave you to independent creators fantastic right but do something if you think the system is wrong okay and it will happen and for those who have been there's there's a few people that have been supporting me on patreon for a very very long time right they've been carrying the full load of this thing to them a, a zillion thank yous because seeing them being there for such a long period of time is giving me the means and the motivation and the power right to be able to do what i'm doing right without that without that support would we be here doing this right now i doubt it very much right i would try my best but there's no way we would have reached this level this fast right could we have gotten here faster probably but the pace we're going at is amazing right and huge thank you to people who have supported me through patreon as well as direct donations as well as 
subscribing to Twitch, Twitch using Twitch Prime or buying tier one or sending bits and stuff like this. All of that decentralizing yourself, right? Makes you, if you're doing this type of work, makes you anti fragile so you can put more energy into it, right? Just letting everyone know uh, it doesn't have to be me, independent creators decentralize your information your news your education your entertainment right your disruptive innovation very very important that's what centralized power doesn't want you to do what centralized power doesn't want you to do you should really consider after you think about it you think it's a good idea you should do it <laughs> right fun fun oh we're almost been live i'm scrolling down guys i'm looking for anything that was like my name on it uh so i can answer anything coolio how's it going i'm going to be able to fully pay off one of my student loans when my government <laughs> comes in when is that going to come in <laughs> one step closer to not owning them yet oh good i hope so yeah those those they're such scams always be making spider-man was asking what's the schedule look like coming up I, I haven't put it together yet always be making uh i've been going pretty hardcore as you know because i'm doing a fair bit of streams and like it's not just the streams like what i did today i, I was working all day to get this ready today right that have been compiling data i do things in the back end right so tomorrow i'm going to take a little bit of breather and think about my schedule and take a look at my calendar and make sure my students are taken care of right because i'm doing live stream not live stream but online math tutoring and stuff make sure they're taken care of uh figure out my partner's schedule and arrange my schedule so i can do these streams and take care of things right uh so i'll have it up in two three days today's wednesday i'll have it up by friday most likely okay friday saturday the latest chicho uh you making apple butter again anytime soon dude uh will show i have some crab apples frozen in the freezer right and because we're sort of making food and putting a freezer and stuff like that i need to use up that stuff we need to get some sugar to make some crab apple butter or we make we i might make some uh crab apple preserve that we eat with uh with food like uh savory right but i think in the next cooking stream we might be dealing with the crab apples i want to make the savory stuff i got to do a count to find out how much crab apples we actually have left crab apple butter right because the crab apple butter is absolutely amazing right so if we have enough crab apple butter so that this summer we can go to the crab apple tree and grab more crab apples and make crab apple butter again it'll take us to that period then i'm going to try to make the crab apple preserve the savory stuff if we don't have enough crab apple butters to see us for the next five months uh then crab apple butter it is i think no rush man uh to i know you've been pushing out a ton of content yeah spider-man it's fun to do it keeps me on my feet i love it and keeps me uh excited right i think we could use a crab apple to marinate oh yeah you could always be making for sure and it goes amazing with pork and lamb like we eat crab apple butter with the meat dishes take a couple of spoonfuls put it on the side of the plate and have it with that it's like a sauce it's so okay i gotta make more crab apple butter man <laughs> i gotta do a count <laughs> so good so good very yummy i'm gonna fall asleep dream of crab apple butter and pork oh pork chops <laughs> fun fun awesome gang great great conversation great live stream uh fantastic discussion okay i hope you guys found this information useful uh, here's the link to the patreon page uh to the post that contains the bigger version of this table that has 72 days of data from january 20th to 
March 31st with all these columns and it's got some notes in the bottom that you can figure out what's what right and I have the f I have a row there with the formulas that I'm using if you see any problems with the data set please let me know okay and that post on the patreon has the big table this is only what you're seeing on screen is only for March March has the big table that has all 72 days as well as 19 graphs that we looked at in this live stream okay and if you're watching this on BitChute or YouTube all have the link in the description of this video and again if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to support this work um, if you want to watch these live streams uh, live uh, then and participate in the discussion because we have fantastic discussion on twitch if not with me people are having a discussion between themselves and sorting things out okay uh, and join discord if on the twitch page you will find a link that takes you to discord you can join discord and there's a lot of conversation being taken uh place there as well and there'll be a link in the description of the video on bitchute and youtube that can take you to discord okay i do announce these live streams on twitter gab mines lo and vk i'm active on a few different platforms because i believe in decentralization right uh, and we are loading these videos on youtube and bitshoot right now and most likely in the future we'll add one more video sharing platform on this as well might as well go three three right and name of the game right now is flatten the curve gang do not overwhelm your healthcare systems right the slower this virus works through the population the more lives will be saved and some of those lives must might be the people that you care about right could be your healthcare workers could be your neighbor could be family member could be a friend right take it easy relax breathe you're not social distancing you could be online right and socializing we just did two hours of hardcore socializing aren't you tired don't you need a break yeah keep a little bit of physical distance and flatten the curve right flatten that people wake up wash your hands stay home stay safe period right thank you busy free man okay thanks for being here gang and i'll announce the next set of live streams in two to three days mods thank you very much for taking care of business funny how the best thing people can do to save others right now is by doing nothing at all well said coolio what is bitchute isn't just another platform where i'm uploading the videos because youtube has a lot of censorship kicked in right so uh youtube is censoring they took out one one video i had to contest it and, you know so any platform that is censoring hardcore um finding alternate platforms to share information twitter was censoring we go to mine gabs vk and elo youtube is censoring we start loading on bitshoot and another platform right patreon by the way patreon was censoring people i also have a subscribe star page that i haven't really mentioned because we don't have anyone uh supporting us through subscribe star yet but that's the alternative to patreon if you don't like patreon and the link will be in the description of this video okay uh, aside from that gang i hope you have a fantastic next few days and i'll see you guys on discord and i'll be uploading the videos on youtube and bit uh, in the next few days as well okay stay safe everyone and have uh, sweet dreams and good morning to the gang in the uk and europe bye everyone